<sighs> 800 bucks have been charged your account to renew your membership to Shining Fingered. What is Shining Fingered? I, I thought it was red, but maybe not. Maybe it's just a magazine or something. <laughs> Oh, Jill's subscription got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing on work today. Happy not birthday! Okay. That's from Alice Rabbit, I guess. Why is it here? here. You really like that website, huh? I have needs. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, well. Let's start of the day by reading some news. You wouldn't believe this shocking Kira Mickey secret! Oh no, they really love that. Okay. Today we'll take a look at one of the, the most popular acts of our times. How did she get started? What's her favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview only on the Augmented Eye. Content block in your region. It's a local page for fuck's sakes. Alice Rabbit might be a Kiramiki fan, and who isn't? Everyone loves Kiramiki, and Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering, uh, what's my proof of this not so wacky theory? Well, keep reading if you want to know. Attack Perkins. Well, this is an easy one. You just. I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. <laughs> okay, I get hacked again. Because I, any, I guess any time the augmented eye does an article on Alice Rabbit, the article gets hacked. I guess. They're messing with forces they can't can't grasp. Or it's a ruse. You know, it might be like a meta thing, you know? Maybe the newspaper article is doing it to itself, you know? Or what? Just doing this just to get more clicks. Hmm. Well, crime rate up 5% this month. Crime is up 5% this month, officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights wear the situation that promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and a lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They all murder. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact that it gives them power. I mean, not necessarily, but anyway. It's no longer about feeding the family, it's about domination. Their entire sector is controlled by these dangerous gangs, and there's no solution in sight. This makes Christmas be a very dark one. Gang wars. I mean, it's funny how the poverty and lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Um, I mean, that's true in general, though, you know? There's plenty of people, plenty of criminals who are, like, you know, from the upper classes and stuff. It's just that they're, like, crimes and everything. It's more like, you know, tax fraud and money laundering. You know, that sort of thing that's hard to catch. Because they have a bunch of money. Anyway. It could be worse. God forbid things get under control here. Alright. That's it for news. Uh, Ninja U. Wiki Concept 4. Never left. Uh, well, the same thing, I think. Like, I already saw this. That's an old thread. Oh, this one. Hmm, not the same thing. Nothing changed? It's officially happening! What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. Last side was the leaks. I think Alice jumped the trap with that one because it seems hard to top. Maybe more leaks? Sounds unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There's nothing they can't do. Oh, that spooky message wasn't really Alice, but just an epic prank. Who would hack a site like this just for a prank? Not me. You're right, though. It might be someone else. I'll have to wait and see. What was the date again? December 17th. Right, if only we knew more about the target now. Sick meme, sis. These Alice threads piss me off. Fucking e-celebs. Goddamn tension horrors. Anyway, uh, hmm, what if it has something to do with the terrorism movement? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Again, it's kind of weird because uh, normally in the threads like these, you were like, you know, there's like a unique ID for everyone, and you we would reply, you know, to like a certain post or whatever. But I guess it's just like a, you know, back and forth. Uh, Yeah, a Mickey blog. Hmm, no, same thing. Nothing new, I guess. No updates on her blog. I believe. Save again. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessive. I'm addicted to saving. Let's see. Shopping? Can we buy something? 
a mega Christmas tree. Now later Christmas. That's loud, that costs a lot. Maybe we shouldn't buy too many things now. I don't have a lot of money. Hmm. Let's buy a shoulder massager, sounds nice. Yeah, got a shoulder massager, amazing. Happy my birthday. Hmm. Where would it be? I don't see it. Is it available? Or is it just not here? Maybe she'll use it next time. I don't know. I just know it's her panties. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I didn't know it before, but those are her panties. Anyway. Hmm. There's a collection, I guess. You mentioned a collection of, like, you know, alcoholic drinks. There you go. Right there. Anyway. I guess that's it. Uh, is there anything else? Anything else to read? No, 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 I don't think so. I guess let's just go to work. Just earn some more moolah. I wonder what the next thing we need to like, you know, pay for. Whatever. They said eight hundred dollars for shining finger. Still don't know what that is. Maybe it's just the like the internet or something, you know? Pay for like use our phone, but I don't know. Hmm. Good evening. Hello. Oh. Bam, bam. Seems like you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Have we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. Pew, pew. Well, it sounds like a, a gunshot in like a video game. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, uh, boss. Firecrackers. Yep, a couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, sound too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourself. Right. We shouldn't lose time over our car's exhaust. Hey. Pew pew. That does sound like gunshot, I don't know. Again, like a video game. <laughs> well, I guess we're not gonna worry about that. It is a dystopian you know, society, whatever. People getting shot? Eh. Just another day. Just another day in the world of Valhalla. How to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Okay. Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? Well, can you tell me about a girl named Crimson Rose? Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have 80 bucks here that might refresh your memory. That's, that's like nothing. Like 8 cents. Now that you mentioned I remember something. Really? Yeah, now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're such a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. <sighs> well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, hey. The second, you're not gonna get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you wanna get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, you really think 80 bucks is enough? You can't do almost nothing with 80 dollars. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Well, why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... It's uh, in my RPGs, the bartenders always give me, you know, information in my video games. Uh, wait, of course. You want all these to be clean, so you need to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, then get me a drink. But keep it under $80. <laughs> There's nothing that costs 80 bucks. Is there? 
there's the gut punch, I guess. Yeah, there's the gut punch. That's the cheapest drink on the bar. Gut punch. Here we go. And no alcohol for you. Because you're, you're such a cheap bastard, I guess. Uh, here you go. Here. Okay, then. Do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said... Maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You're the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, $80 is nothing. So, uh, do you spend more? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing. I know I'm will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why? Yours is right, isn't it? Uh, I guess. Now when you think about it, when you think about money, I guess, well, I wonder if the, the dollars here, I guess, Maybe it's the equivalent of like, um, of like, uh, of yen, you know, Japanese dollars, basically. Or basically every dollar is like the equivalent of a cent, you know? Uh, maybe. So why are you looking for that girl, mister? Or Mr. Von Delay, Art Von Delay. I'm a private detective, it's what I do. So I assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. She's half of the so-called reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever is resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers' as internet nicknames. So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up the local going-ons. Well, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe, but not much about current events. At least not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it. What kind of bar is this if you can't get out of the word on the street? What kind of film noir with the world do you think you live in? You might know something you're so fixer finding some kind of information. You know, if you want to be like more detective, you gotta... Well, I guess he's kind of wearing a trench coat. Not really a trench coat. You should, you should wear like a... You know, a more obvious, you know, uh, uniform for like a noir detective. You know, where's your fedora? <laughs> Again, I know some of you are still fixing to find some kind of information. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? I don't, and I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. And here I've got all the noise BTC bars have made lately were used for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a Grizzly Temple. Temple enough? Grizzly Temple. One, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Always have to like wait. Uh, here. Okay, then this is gonna be deducted from the eighty dollars from earlier, right? No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. The whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from the rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at the bank today, no, not really. Damn it. Wait, who told you that? It appeared in the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name Harbingers wasn't used. Though Bish City Outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even their international outlets are using the name Harbingers. Hmm. I guess it was Alma? Alma? I think Alma told us that. Or, maybe not Alma. 
or was it say? I don't remember. Somebody told us that. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization there for some reason. So you're either one of them or somebody in the know told you about it. Hmm. Or maybe it was Donovan D. Doss. I don't know. Some, again, somebody told us. Well, it can be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson wasn't here for the last few days, actually. Okay, so it's Donovan. Really? I wonder if you'll notice the glass that Idol signed. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... I guess not. Did you talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the Idol had a show a couple days ago, dealing with messy interns. Par for the course, I guess. I see, I see. That's... Gunshot! Pew pew! It's a backfire. Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? Hmm, sounds like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I have heard there are some gang spats going on. Maybe took a conflict here. Which means gunshots. If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've got to go. Since coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really. I just have different needs, but there'll be come a there'll come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please come again. Ah, gangs then. Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. Unicorn. They've always been neutral. Uh, she's always been a neutral and important third party in other gangs' deal. Who what now? I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. I mean, let me thinking about the whole noise from the BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering of the bars. Don't take my word for it, though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Welcome! Ah, yes. Streaming Chan. It's the Nico Nico Doga messages. I think, oh, I think there's a, there's an app? Or not an app. I don't know, some sort of, like, plugin where you can actually do that, you know, on your Twitch stream. I, I, if I, I would imagine that would be distracting, though. I don't know. She even has uh, heterochromia. Hetero... How do you say it? Heterochromia? You know, the two different eye colors. Reminds me of, um... What was that? What was that, uh... Anime? Was that anime about the dolls, you know? Animated dolls or whatever? There's that one character that says Desu, 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 Desu all the time, and she also had a heterochromia. Anyway. I'm Streaming Chan, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24 7. Amazing. Real li in IRL streaming. That was, that was pretty popular, actually. Well, I mean, you know, I feel like this whole, like, you know, uh, streaming your life thing, you know, it's like a successor to, like, people doing vlogs, right, on YouTube, and that was really popular for a while. I wonder, I don't know. I guess I, I don't really follow, you know, those type of streams, you know, where they like, they actually just, for example, like go to Japan or whatever and have like a, a backpack, you know, a streaming backpack that has a camera on it and basically walk around in Japan or whatever. Kind of like that. I wonder if they're, are they still popular or, I don't know. But I feel like, I, I guess that's just a parody of that. I'm streaming Chan. Streaming Chan! Bathroom time and naughty moments only available for two premium users. Ah yes, of course. Yes, subscribe. It's only $99.99 99 a month, so premium now! But if you think about it, it's actually not that expensive, you know, in this society, I guess. You know, 80 bucks was not enough to buy a meal. So like, this would be the equivalent of like, probably like 10 bucks or something, you know? This is like 10 bucks or something. Um, oh, who danger you here? It's Friday night, and you all know what that means. It's time for Streaming Chance Escapades. Wow. Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe. Hmm, I wonder if that's a real site. I was wondering about Shining Finger. Like, what is it exactly in this world? Leaders of VR Adult Entertainment since 2069. Is that what it is? It's a porn site? I don't know. Buy your premium membership and you'll get a code. Yes. Exchange the code for a free trial of a VR experience model after yours truly. Amazing. Get to watch her in VR porn. I wonder, did anyone make a parody of that? Anyway. 
excuse. Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. <laughs> excuse me. But no matter. Tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? That's all kind of, is that her hair? I think that's her hair. She's a little disheveled, anyway. You're talking to her. Very funny. Where is he really? Right in front of you. Hey, you, the pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? You're looking at him. No way. No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two dress like fucking waiters or the bartenders here? Boo! No! Yep. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh well. There's an easy solution to that. Oh yeah, there's her camera right there. She's recording us. Is that against the law? I don't know. There is? Yeah, just take your top off. Okay. You might, need to take, and you might need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. You even use a bra? Is that piercing glare or no? Come on, one of us is gonna have to take off their top off, and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. TOS. Uh, it's, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy in wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me five for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. You're five wearing a skirt? That's weird. That's not a concrete answer. I need a binary yes-no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. If they want to use their brains, do you think they want something like this? Premium. I need to keep them entertained. The fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A big one. The nastiest one you can think of. Um, hello? Service here, please. Wow. It's like my brain shut off. Sure. I guess, you know, she's like a parody of a, all the type of content creators that... I guess content creator, quote-unquote. The ones that I don't usually watch, you know? The very hyperactive, enthusiastic, you know, people who make videos. Which is fine. If you like that stuff, I guess. But not for me. Anyway. Nasty drink, nasty drink. Manly promo. Hmm. It's maybe a manly... Manly drink. Bitter. Burning. Sure. And make it big, right? That's what she said. Why not? I guess we'll have to play along. Here. Alright then, cheers! I don't think you should chug it down so... ...quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is this what being kicked the balls feels like? Yep. Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. Let's get sexy. How do I denko? Hmm. That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Wow, 6,000 people. That's a lot of viewers. A pretty famous streamer, I guess. Let's see then. Last weekend, we held a party for the Sapphire Toy Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Cedo clad talking corgis, yeah. Wow, awesome. Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. What else? What else? Um, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented. I was here for three nights in a row. 
that perfume chauvinistic bastard. <laughs> Everyone calls him a chauvinistic bastard. I guess that's just re his reputation. Uh, there's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small meat girl with glasses. Oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, you met her, I guess. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. Anime was a mistake. But enough about that. Wait, can I see that glass over there? Hmm, sure. This signature, is this Kira Miki's autograph? Yeah, she came here before her last concert. Get out, really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I try to get a meeting with her and she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does in shows. You think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. Even though she's a little scary. She got scary that one time, though. I knew it. I knew she was nice. Her passion shows her concerts, you know. She's so s spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high-performance computer. Shine Spark! A -a 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 -a? <laughs> is that... I don't know. I know in, a -a -a in Japanese, Hachi, which is a reference to Tachi, and Pachi means clapping, I guess. Is that is it clapping? Uh Pachi 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 Pachi. I find myself singing in the shower all the time. Oh yeah, sh sh you know, the shower, the bathroom in general has really good reverb. That's where everyone sings. And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at 99 a month. Go premium now. That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof of everything. Can I keep this glass? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that I'd make it perfect if a pretty bar over there had a pass with a KGB. Uh, who told you? Yeah. That'd be crazy. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Totally not like a... You know, a defector from the government. Uh, are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Get me big, a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. <laughs> Coming right up. Bad touch. Ha ha ha. Hee hee ha ha. I mean, I don't find it as funny as, you know, Jill, so I can't really give a, much of a laughter as she does. She just finds it very funny. It was a big bad touch. And I guess, well, she said before, right? Didn't Streamer Chen said that Shining Figured is the leader of the VR porn a bit or whatever? So, is it really that? Is it really just like, does Jill just have a subscription to like a porn site or something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Rocks and mix. Mm -hmm. Big bad touch. Here we go. I was expecting something dirtier. Now we have olive brine. I can pour it in a bit of you. That's what you want? No, not that. It's such a dirty name. Just like the drink ought to come in a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. Oh, yes, semen. That would have skyrocketed the watches at least three full. Don't you have anything like that? Nope. Uh, I have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Weird, what? What are you gonna do with the condensed milk? Friendly reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.mo. That moe. Which, uh, that moe is actually a real, you know, website domain. I think someone bought that and now you can, like, buy as a domain. I think it's, you know, available for a while, for a while now. Anyway. Leaders of VR Adult Entertainment since 2069. Yes. Buy a year premium membership for a neat code. Set code will net you a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on moi. 
Marry me, streaming chan! What's the deal with that VR experience? Moon. Well, a fan made an NND model of me. I guess Miku Miku Dance. I guess NND we Niku Niku Dance? Anyway. When Shining Fingered asked me about the model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year of free premium membership and a VR set. Mm, that's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dan. Niku Niku Dan. I asked for a reason. You know, I did. I dabbled a little bit in Miku Miku Dance actually. It's how I, uh, well, it's how like, I imported like other people's models into VR chat by using Miku Miku Dance. But anyway. It's well, it's a, uh, it's music videos with 3D models. But these days though, I feel like people use Source Filmmaker. Anyway. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. I guess it depends though. I imagine it would be more popular in Japan. You know, Miku Miku Dance. The, the Japanese program. Anyway. I see. To be honest though, the model's a bit meatier than me. Meteor? With bigger boobs? You know, you say, you you know, you called us flat. But you're pretty flat yourself, buddy. Unless you're, you're hiding your boobs in that hoodie jacket thing. Anyway. Not that I mind it though, considering the use it gets. <clears throat> you know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. Now, it's hard to be scared when you can't see those people. But they're still there, you know. Sure, they're behind the scenes and sometimes in opposite corners of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person of real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. Yes, yes, yeah. Why do we even see these, by the way? Is it just, I don't know, it's just live. It's like augmented reality, you know? It's just being uh, being viewed through our eyes. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here, visibly paying attention to me. I still don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. Or I don't, I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? That's yeah, the classic 10 year childhood promise. Uh, no. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decide out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. Well, that's actually what happened, sorta. Oh, come on. No epiphany? Quarter-life crisis? A quarter-life crisis? Not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? <clears throat> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams even. Throw me a bone here. There must be a nice and mis mystical story you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well? Yes? I miss short hair streaming channel. Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a DRK C0L or C no S S0L. A really old little model. A dark soul? Hmm. He has a dark soul. Apparently his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed and he didn't have the money to buy the upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. It was from the time when the collective source was in the cloud storage system. Hmm. Can't upload your like consciousness, I guess. So he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know? He's the only Lilum I've seen with clear cut of fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh man. I guess he felt bad about burning someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, If you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um. Bravo! Bravo! Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome. Very awesome that this guy had an existential crisis and then died. I pay to, I pay to see a movie like that. 
So, what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carried it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Oh, almost all times. Now that I think about it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? Isn't there like copyright, you know? Get DMCA'd. Well, I have a plugin that lays mos uh, mosaic censorship, uh, censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. I see. How convenient. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here, Miss Bartender. Get me drunk. I don't care how. Just do it. Okay. I gotta get her drunk. I guess that's what she wants. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Are we, be, are, are we being an irresponsible bartender? We get her drunk? I have no idea. But I guess I'll give her a blue fairy. Take it. Take all the karma trim. Go. Moon. Moon. So? Lightheadedness. Clumsy tongue. Clumsy tongue. Palm sweaty. Knees weak. Arm spaghetti. Okay. Mom spaghetti. Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of the lewd stuff. Oh boy. First, I'll try to guess your bus size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Mm, I'd say... D. Not big enough to fill a hand, but not small enough to make you look like a child. You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing my bus. Don't be like that, I can tell you're a B cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an S, and your behavior makes me think your blood is a B. An S? Oh. As a, as a sadist, I guess. SM? She's a top, I guess. She's a dom, anyway. So, how many did I get right? Who knows? Ah, please let me get out of this. I need you to cooperate if this is gonna be a success. Can I ask you something? Finally. What's the point of getting drunk if you're gonna behave the same way? <laughs> I guess it's kind of redundant. Because you see, I'm drunk 24-7. Huh? Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything. Seeing the viewer account steadily raises, I take more risks and become more adventurous. Adventurous, adventurous, ooh, ooh, what? <laughs> adventurous. It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex, if I get lucky tonight, you only need to pay 9 dollars dollars to see what happens afterwards. Go premium or go home! Yes, we can live her, you know, all the viewers are just living their lives vicariously through streaming Shan. Um, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised at how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Well, everything's written here. Uh, by being captured with this camera, you hereby provide consent to the use of your face. On all material produced by a streaming channel, LLC. Well, I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. Yeah, that's how that's how contracts work. You know, you just don't don't uh, argue with it, and then it just works. It just works. It's funny though, when you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. I learned their name, and suddenly they're a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Ah, this is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk. Why is it weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. Uh, how long? A week. Oh, I haven't slept for a week. Isn't that... That that kills your brain, you know? Don't do that. A week? Weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? Yeah, she's gonna go crazy. She's gone insane. Um, she's already she, she's already insane. <laughs> yep, don't totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Hmm? The ping is too high. Anyways, I think I'll take a little nap here before storming off and continuing the night. If you excuse me, uh, buy premium now. Nine 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 nine. Yeah. Should I call a cab? And risk waking her up? Leave her be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. And while since I'll need a cigarette this badly. Alright. 
break time. <sighs> and there is streaming, Shan. Now, what, do we see more of her? I don't know. I assume so. Later on. Now safe to keep playing. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. No more streaming Chan for us. He's frickin' dead. Let's go backwards, yeah! Like this. All done! Feeling better? This is a weird song anyway. Uh, fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh anyway. Oh god, this song. Okay, I don't like this song. Can I? Yeah, Base of Titans. Hey. Oh, you can shuffle, I guess. Oh, you can only shuffle within the music itself, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I don't like that. That was too intense. I want nice. Like this song, yeah. I like nice, like, elevator music, you know? It's much nicer. Anyway. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. Hmm, green. Who's this? Who's this? Oh, no, no. no, it's too long to be dynamite. It sounds more like some heavy-duty tool. You're a heavy-duty tool. Yes, I am. Hmm. Wait, that... Damn it. Is this the, the, two, the two people? The, the, the dog company? Is that who they are? I don't know. Oh, welcome back. Yeah, these two. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey bartender, what did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction. But better here says dynamite or something like that. Not you, not you too. Eh, do you think it's dynamite then? What? Uh, no, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot. Hi, crackers! What does Dana do, by the way? She's just in her office the whole time? Just eavesdropping? I don't know. I guess she does paperwork as well. I mean, she's the boss, right? Uh, see? Those sounds have been going on all night. We can't figure out what they are. Well, we are here to discuss that. We're here to... Um... Who is he? Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. Who was he last weekend? I don't know. I don't care. You already made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell. I love beer too. Two beers. Coming right up. Coming right up. One, two, three, four. Here you go. Beer. And another one. Here you go. Thank you. Man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill? Not such, that's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours and we don't have that many regulars. So it's just the same. Nothing's changed. That's nice. You know. <laughs> Not too busy, but not, you know, not too many of the same people, I guess. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite a change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Uh, hello. Uh, person in chat. Life and Jesus. <laughs> Interesting name. Uh, you have no idea. Um, I have a question, Joe. Is it about the girls <laughs> sleeping next to you? <laughs> Premium. Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? I mean, sort of. Not regularly, but you know, people have been sleeping on the floor these days. No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least 6,000 people listening? Let them hear, I don't care. <laughs> They're still here. 6,000 people. Oh, she calls herself streaming, Chan, and she's been streaming her life 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talk about seeing someone doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So, 6,000 people are watching and hearing us. 
Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera's against the table. I don't know how many people are still in the channel, though. Isn't it? Isn't you know? You know, funnily enough, on Twitch, it's against TOS to sleep on stream. You know, her channel is gonna get taken down. Anyway, I see. So there'll be a lot more witnesses if something said. Do any of you have a criminal past? No. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying Miss Thompson's a cunt. Huh? Or Miss Thompson. Why'd you do that? Well, because Miss Thompson was a cunt. She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. Well, oh, okay. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. I gave her one the courage to speak up. So, how's the stuff at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell? It's their textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Oh. But anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see, I'll have a brantini. Two brantinis then. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Uh, this one. And another one. There you go. You have such a wimpy taste in drinks, Dio. Not all of us spend their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us want went to college. You miss nothing. Sometimes I wish I'd go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Something on your mind? That girl is that's designing the clothes. Laura, what about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now, she fits the unkempt cutie category so well, it's almost painful. It's so cliche that I can't help but cringe when, I look, when I'm looking at her. Cringe? What is this cringe you kids speak of? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. A kick? That sounds like a feel like in an anime. You know, you just do a drop kick. Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why do you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine, guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has the potential, and I'm not gonna let her waste it. Hey Jill, I'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof. Alright, okay, antenna on the roof. Uh, she's your boss, right? Did you meet her before? Nope, I'm just gonna, I'm just a veterinar veterinarian. I never could say that word right. Dogs were the ones that organized the meeting of her. I say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants would rob of her charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight. At a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Mm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome. Damn, she has nice hair <laughs> up in the roof. Now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based on just their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made it sound like I'm some sort of creep. I did? What do you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although the way you looked at me was... Uh, when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said, 
like you like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil then? Hmm. Mm hmm. He's either a topo, total simpleton, or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of the kiss of, of his character. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm totally not pretending to be dumb. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. But say that right, veter, veterinarian, veterinarian, veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have. You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste into your taste in drinks. You'll thank me later. Trust me. Ah, uh, then. Two strong drinks, manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Uh, well, you shut up. Two strong manly drinks. Okay. All right. Manly drink. Mm. Spicy, manly, strong. Sure. No, I wouldn't. I, I would not drink a spicy drink though. I don't like spice in general. No, even I'm such like I don't know. Look, it's just how my taste buds work. But like, the moment I touch even as something as mild as yellow mustard, you know, it's kind of like that's already enough for me. You know, <laughs> even though yellow mustard is not even the slightest spice, not even the slightest bit spicy at all. I don't know. I'm just very sensitive, you know, when it comes to like spicy stuff. The moment I actually eat something actually spicy, you know, I just like my face just turns into water, you know, I just melt. It just doesn't work with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mars Blast and another Mars Blast, I guess. Oh, I could give another one. I could give a different one, but eh, just do the same one. Mars Blast. Blasting with Mars. Here. Now drink. Ugh. Oh, man up. You'll get used to it. <laughs> okay. It remi well, it kind of reminds me of Gundam, actually. There's that one character where Amuro was like, you know, the main character in Mobile Suit Gundam, you know, the typical, like, very similar to Shinji, you know, Neon, Genesis, Evangelion. I guess, you know, it's kind of like a. It's a intentional, you know, similarity. But like, it's the main character, you know, they're fighting in a giant robot and everything, but then as it turns out, you know, they don't like fighting, eh? they don't like killing people. And then his childhood friend, the, the female childhood friend, was like, Man up, Amuro! Shut up! Get in the robot! Start killing people, dummy! You know, be a man! <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Anyway. Hey Jill, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? Proposed to me as a prank? You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all just a prank. All just a prank, bro. Jill? Well, our first year of high school, the guy I had my eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Does that really happen? I don't know. It's never really happened to me. I never really saw it in real life. That sounds like a weird thing to do. Isn't that like... Wouldn't that just ruin the reputation of the person doing the asking out? Like, why would it be a prank? It's so weird. Ouch. Sorry, I... Well, the worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for the kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Oh yes, murder all children. Anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said any before I said anything. Well, it's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question though? Um I was asking because one of my ex's cousins have been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here, or pretend to be straight as in like oh as in she would like boys, but actually she doesn't. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably puts her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. 
If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you told me. Don't pay too much attention. Well, it's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. Oh, yes. I... What? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me the most. I mean, it's pretty easy, you know? You just, like, tie them up. You know, facing up and just splash a bunch of water on them, you know, until until they feel like drowning or whatever. Well, actually, why not? Uh, this is not, not just splash. I guess all you're supposed to do is like you're supposed to put like a cloth on their face and then, you know, put water on them. Because that, because it kind of like simulates the, uh, to the brain, you know, as if you were drowning, even though you're not technically. I wonder, well, you probably can, you know, it would still probably feel like you drown anyway. And if they, people, someone actually, put too much water on your face, you might actually drown. You know, you might actually like run out of breath even though you're not actually, you know, drowning. But anyway. I imagine that'd be horrible, you know. Obviously. I almost drowned once, so I mean it's not fun. Meh. <sighs> the girl scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that if Gina, uh, Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina or Gina? Uh. Gina? Gina? I'm sorry, when I, when I think Gina, I think of Vagina, but anyway. I assume it's Gina, right? Gina? Gina. Which one was that again? Blonde, flies a cutting board, but cues a button. Delicious flat chest though. I mean, come on. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late. We should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. An internet antenna? Oh yeah, Gil. Some guy said I should tell you that this bunny's late. Whatever that means. The bunny's late? Alice Rabbit? Oh shit. Uh, boss, I'm leaving early if I don't come back in two days. Couldn't serve me as good as that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Same as always. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo digi 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 tutorial. Is that, what she, is that what she does? In her, you know, in her time, just watches videos on the internet. And that's why she fixed the antenna. She'll continue watching her YouTube videos. Oh. Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella. You here for another drink today? Not really. I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected in my house. And thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you do would appreciate it. Oh, I got an achievement can't see it though because I'm using game capture I guess when I use window capture I guess you would see it I guess we got a reward hmm. really I don't know what to say thanks well it's nothing really this just in oh breaking news hmm? the Apollo trust bank has locked its doors leaving about 30 people trapped inside the security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database early this morning the bank Oh God, say! Oh, oh yeah, she's she was visiting the bank, I guess, like a uh, you know guard duty or something. I wonder if she'll be all right. Uh, hello, Jamie. Good evening, Joe. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. It sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. Oh, okay, you know about the bunny, too? He definitely, know, definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. I mean, right up. You know, we really are just an NPC bartender, you know, in an RPG. And the other people are the main characters, and they're doing their thing. Oh, we're just giving them drinks, I guess. Flowers, plants. 
kind of reminds me of another game actually. What's it called? You know, it's that game where you like play as like a NPC item shop. I guess is the idea. Very similar idea, but slightly different. You know, it's not the same gameplay though. It's the one where the meme, you know, capitalism ho. You know that one. I think it's called yeah. It's called Rested Here. I think Rested Here and Item Shops uh, Tail. What Mars Blast? Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? And again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. VR. Can't believe I'm... You know, myself. Jeez, I guess. Making out with herself. Amazing. Uh, hey, who's this girl? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her lives 24-7. I'm guessing your equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Oh, thanks for the advice. Which kind of reminds me, her like VR thing. I think wasn't it like announced like pretty recently that you know there's this technology now where you can like feel things with your fingers, or at least concept for it anyway. Because I was thinking, you know, how does you know VR porn sounds kind of it sounds kind of like a gimmick, you know, in the beginning because you can't really feel anything anyway, right? And more like a 360 camera. But if you could feel things. Hmm. Anyway. I wonder if that's a technology in this universe. Is what I'm thinking. Well, changing the subject a bit. Have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests as it lost its course. That might be it. Ah. Hey, boss, the explosions were caused by supersonic drones. Well, that sounds better than firecrackers. Been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Hmm. Man, if only Gil was here to hear that info. He thought there were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. He can be trouble. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be all right? This isn't the first time a bank has closed like that, but something is off about this. Off? Huh? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Oh, never mind. You want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. A little beer. A simple beer. You want like a big beer? You look like you want a big beer. Why not? Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big beer. Beer. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous, or ubiquitous, 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 while feasting. They help to foster bonds and build up faction alliances. Give enough time and enough beer, larger societies will be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? I have. Doesn't that sound kind of... You know, that would be awesome. Just, you know, just upload your consciousness into the internet. And it just live forever, you know? Brain uploading. I was thinking. What's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Yeah, wasn't there? I think there was a game about that. You know, that is a kind of like a weird thing though. Like if you upload your like memories into like a digital world and everything, like you yourself doesn't get you don't get uploaded. You know, the real one is still reality, I guess, and then they just die anyway. But then the you in the other one is more like a clone than what. But their consciousness is like oh, it's as if they, or you know. A virtual consciousness or whatever. 
I think a game called Soma kind of like touches upon that. Anyway. Let's say you upload yourself and effectively that new someone's in cyberspace. You will still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you some somewhere? There's not you some that's coming. Well that's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyber say a cyberspace self found out about the real you somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. And when I think about it, well, you know, probably a, like a few, a, a few good games, or a good, a few good games. Well, they're good games, but a good few games, a good few good games. Anyway, a lot of games have uh, touch upon this actually as well. The whole like you know, uploading your personality into the digital database thing. I feel like video games and probably a bunch of movies as well. I don't watch a lot of movies though. I wonder, does any anime? I guess maybe Ghost in the Shell, actually, sort of. Anyway, well, there's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations, exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess it's kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether, only to find out their physical body is still alive and here, instead of living in a place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. It used the words "burn the brain." Ouch! But I guess in this universe, I guess in this universe, you know, because he said earliest form, but I guess you know you can still do brain uploading uh, in this universe. I wonder. Actually, I, that reminds me of a manga. Actually, I always forget the name. It's a kind of like a weird name. I guess a lot of manga have weird name. But, you know, it does touch upon that, you know? It's a, it's a manga about, like, like what if uh, in the near future we have these, you know, technological gadgets and one of those technological aspects they covered is, like, you know, actually, like, brain uploading. You know? What happens if you can, like, ensure your own life by uploading your memories into, like, a, a, like a virtual world that's basically sort of like, you know, like a virtual heaven, you know? And it touches upon that, which is interesting. So like when you die, you know, you go to heaven, but you know, it's, but it's a heaven that we can actually see, you know, you can actually just visit, you know, you can just basically just visit heaven, it's right there, it's uh, you know, you just, you just gotta put on a VR set and then you can visit all the people that have died, you know, who have uploaded their brains anyway. So that's an interesting concept. Anyway. Well, all for nothing because the data would be bro corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, oh, okay. For some reason, I thought they actually did. Because I'm wondering, you know, if they did succeed in brain uploading, then there would be, like, a place we could, like, maybe visit in real life. At least in this game, anyway. But maybe not. I guess they, they, they stopped that. They stopped brain uploading. I think they started another project about leaving brains in jars or something after that. <laughs> brains in jars. Uh, that subject interests you, huh? Makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here, always a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Yeah, all done. You wanna stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camo? Is that a tad expensive? Yep, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what a gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for 40 years now, I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Use up all the past gifts. Now, oh. it's a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. Well, Jill's 27. Well, actually close to my age, but anyway. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So, what will the Nano Camo Maggio change uh, from your apartment? Well, I got the basic plan, walls and one piece of cloth, so I picked my kotatsu too. You have a kotatsu? You know what a kotatsu is, boss. I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but, but a kotatsu, not so much. Well, you always see it in anime, don't you? It's always in the anime. In my Japanese anime. Yeah, well, things get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how dec uh, how you decorate a place of that. 
let's plan a day to grab a beer. Yeah. No more dancing. I'm tired. <sighs> what do you do with her? I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. Alright. Sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Careful out there. Yeah. Money, money, money. No new notifications or reminders. Jill wants to buy a fan even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now use the nano camel to customize your room. Amazing. What's a nano camel? Something to things up in this room. No. Oh, nano camel. There's a gun and a grenade. <laughs>